Happy Sunday, everyone. First alert meteorologist Candace Bowling here, feeling a little bit more like autumn across the east, but for some portions of the country, feeling a little bit more like winter. In this week's Sunday Science Tidbit, let's talk about rime ice. And I got this science tidbit inspiration from Mount Mitchell up in the high country of North Carolina. The peak of the mountain experienced single digit wind chills yesterday, as well as rime ice. Now, rime ice is a forms from frozen fog, and the fog is essentially like a cloud on the ground. The clouds are made of teeny tiny water droplets, and if the air temperature gets cold enough, you can start to freeze those tiny water droplets, creating a frozen fog. Now, the super cool liquid water droplets will freeze on any surface that is exposed to the outdoors. And here's the really cool part to rime ice. It forms in horizontal lines and is best seen on a vertical surface like a pole or a sign. It also forms into the wind, opposite of what many people would think. The ice essentially starts to build on itself. And on Mount Washington in New Hampshire, the rime ice is a common occurrence and can grow at rates of one to two inches per hour. And some ice structures can be, get to be several feet thick, like you see here in this picture. And if you look close up at the rime ice, you'll notice it has a very detailed feathery look, created by the collection of those little tiny frozen water droplets. Now, rime ice is not exclusive to the tallest mountain peaks. It can happen anywhere, including the mountains to the beaches and everywhere in between, as long as you have the cold temperatures and the super cooled water droplets that freeze.